Welcome to Mining Over Canada. Join the Canadian Securities Exchange and our partners in a first-hand look into our country's vast mining landscape. 60 North is focused on an earn-in on the Mon property. This is a former high-grade past-producing mine. I acquired the property in 1988 from Cominco, and in 1989, we started mining it. It was very successful. In the early 1990s, we ended up bringing a mill in on site so we could mine 15 meters of elevation to take out 15,000 tons of rock and recover 15,000 ounces of gold from half of a vein. The other half of the vein is easily accessible below the level of our slopes, and that is our program. That's what we're trying to do now is just go down below where we mined before. Uh, we have a VMS deposit that we discovered last year at 200 grams of silver per ton or better, one gram of gold per ton or better. We're dealing with rock that has an in-situ value in the, in the order of 200 to $250 per ton. So rather than try and just drill this off and make it as big as we can, why don't we just mine it? You know, it's the technology that was used pre-1960s and it led to the development of some fantastic mines and dynasties that went on. So we believe that our 15 meter mine has some potential below us. There is a strong history of mining in the Northwest Territories. Uh, they've got the right sort of uh, policies and governance to attract uh, more industry in mining. Uh, we are currently the only permitted uh, for production gold project in the Northwest Territories. It's not just Canada, it's the world. The commodities of mining are worldwide markets. So if we don't do it, somebody else will. And we can do mining in Canada way better than many other nations because we're fully integrated right from finance through to the uh, execution. The technology is shocking. Mining is the lowest risk because we've done it before, we know it's there, and we're gonna do exactly what we did before. And if that's the case, and we're mining one ounce per ton material, sky's the limit, guys.